Right, so uh, I'm Hani Farid Dalton, an 18-year-old software developer at Devtranet. I'm currently in my fourth year studying computer engineering at Nile University of Nigeria. So I'll say um, my journey into tech started when I was very young from my father. So he used to be very interested in programming and coding and all. So at the age of 10, 12, I already had programming books on HTML, CSS. So although I wasn't really interested in it at that time, uh, it was something that I had to develop passion for on my own. But that was like my journey to take mm, <laughs> at that young age, yeah. So I'll say I received all round support from my dad. So uh, from resources on HTML, CSS, books and all, for programming and also financial support in terms of laptop data when I'll always be disturbing him daddy please buy me data so I can watch this YouTube video so I can download this book so and also he gave me a lot of advice from my experience point of view on the steps actually so I am really glad for my dad because he's like the bedrock and the support that I've gotten since I started programming and tech. Hmm. Okay, so I was exposed to website design, front end using basic HTML, CSS, like I mentioned, and I transitioned all to um, the back end. So from there, I started using JavaScript, Ajax to PHP. So I'll build a website and try and build um, the backend for that website. So I'll have my SQL database uh, connected using PHP and Ajax. So from there on, I moved on to graphics design. So I did graphics design. Uh, at some point, I started doing UI UX design because I realized that when I want to build a project, I can't start meeting people to design for me. So I have to learn this thing myself. So I started uh, learning Figma. So I I will build I will do the UI UX of the application, then start coding on the front end, and basically do the whole full stack thing. So that's why I refer to myself as a full stack developer. So but mainly I'm on the web currently, but I'm transitioning towards artificial intelligence, machine learning. So I want to pursue my masters in artificial intelligence because that's a field that I'm really really interested in. I've read a lot about it and. It's something I see myself doing in the future. Mm. Okay, so at the beginning, basic HTML, CSS, JavaScript, I learned it using books, like I said, and some articles that my dad shared with me. But mostly books and all. I, will, I started like moving on towards Ajax, PHP. Um, I started learning from YouTube. And also, I know a little bit of Python because of machine learning and all. So I'll say I'm well versed in JavaScript, there's no JS, React. I'm very good at them. And also Python. I've used Java, C, C++, but I will not say I'm good at it because of school. But yeah, I'm well versed in JavaScript and Python. OK, so um, in 2020, that's when I wanted to focus fully on learning JavaScript well. So I used a lot of YouTube videos and books. So I downloaded this book, it's a series called Essential JavaScript. So it has three volumes. So I read through them to understand JavaScript, how it really works. Uh, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and practice with projects and all. So um, it took me, I would say, a year <laughs> to be very very comfortable and tell people that okay yeah i'm well versed in, in javascript and react but after that it didn't take so long for me to learn node.js and for python it's something that in 2019 i started using but um i started with youtube but it was just the basics and all but um immediately after i learned node.js uh i woke watch YouTube videos on it and books as usual and articles. So generally, I just get programming knowledge from basically YouTube articles to, and tutorials online. And books also. Very, very important. Yes, yes, yes. So as I mentioned earlier, I have a career path of being in a full-time 
full time doing machine learning as an engineer. So uh, my roadmap is this year I would like, I'll see sort of like finish up my projects, the front end back end projects that I have using React currently, and now, and by next year I'm going to start um, practical machine learning fully. So I'll be my final year, and I'm going to be doing my final year project is going to be something that intelligence so that's where i'm going to begin and masters is going to be on machine learning so um it's going to help me like get to my goal so um i'm currently in my fourth year studying computer engineering and i'll say my academics is going great so far i'm on 4.78 gpa Although I, I really wanted it to be like 4.9, 5.0, but I mean, we have to balance everything. So my academics is currently going well. I'm, I'm really happy with myself at the moment. And I know I, I, I will do better. So by my final year, I should have a higher CPA than that. Okay, so my advice to um, people entering tech and people who want to break into the tech ecosystem. First off, I'll be like, don't be attracted to the hype tech is a lot more than what social media portrays at the moment so i'll be like invest in your foundation in, when you are choosing to learn something learn the foundation and the beginning of it it might not be as attractive as the new ones coming out like new packages you want to learn react before learning javascript it is not good for your um, growth because at the end of the day you still have to go back to that foundation because you encounter some issues that uh, are foundational level and you really have to understand the language or whatever you are doing so my greatest advice to anyone starting out is learn the foundation and the best way to learn the foundation and the most unattractive way is through books not youtube videos books so one thing about books is that their books are mostly old so you'll be learning the beginning of how that language uh, was built you'll be learning the foundational aspect of that language or whatever uh, topic that you choose to learn on but it gives you this um, knowledge that you can't get elsewhere you can't really get it from YouTube, you can't really get it from articles, five minute articles. You get those deep foundational knowledge from books. So I'll say download a lot of books. Um, there is this website called Z Library. You can check out the website. It has a lot of free books that you can download as PDF. So I'll advise you once you are starting out in tech, forget the hype, learn foundation and download books. <laughs>